Today we are moving our meat birds out from the small chicken tractor that they've been in for about a month or so into the big chicken shelter that Corey has built. Uh, we're just doing some finishing things for it before we move it out to the pasture and move our chickens out to the pasture. If you haven't watched the video yet, he did a video on assembling the most part of the shelter here. I'll link that video if you wanna go check it out. So the last thing we're doing here is draping the tarp and securing it over the shelter from the weather when they need to. All right, we're ready to get this moved out to the pasture. I, we uh, got a 12 by 20 tarp here that we strung across the top of it. We got it zip tied down all the way around. It doesn't quite go all the way to the bottom on each side. That way we can get some uh, cross ventilation through here so it doesn't get to stinking in here. But it shouldn't, that shouldn't be too big of an issue anyway because we are gonna move it you know, like once every few days to fresh grass. And then I think I'm gonna leave the back, each of the ends open here. Um, I got a bunch of just cross bracing in the bottom here to keep it square and keep it um, so it'll stay together when I'm pulling it with a four wheeler. And then it's on five skids here that I used just deck boards. So I've already pulled it about 50 feet across the yard and so far so good. We're gonna get it moved out to the pasture here in just a couple minutes. One thing what? he did have to do that he forgot was he had to cut, cut part of the fencing look, look to get it truck. through because it was too big to fit through our big gate. Yeah, we got a 10 foot gate and it's 12 <laughs> foot wide so that math doesn't work. <laughs> so um, right here where we put this new fencing up kind of at the front where the water trough is, I just cut it loose from the post. I'm going to roll it back and then uh, once we get it through we'll roll it back to the post and nail it back up. All right. Excited to catch chickens? Oh yeah, then we got 59 or so chickens to catch and get moved out here once we get it out to the pasture. So that'll be fun. <laughs> hung up on the fence over here it's definitely a tight squeeze so we're gonna have to do a little cutting on the fence and a little manipulation to get it get it through Okay, that went pretty smooth, I think. Kind of. <laughs> uh, we nailed back up the fence over there. Corey's getting some feed for the sheep. We are going to now move the sheep from everywhere to over there. <laughs> yeah. I think it'll be easy once they hear the food shaking. Mm -hmm. We're going to keep them over on that side, on that paddock, and the chicken will be on the side. Something was tickling me. You go in there.
So we got two rolls of this uh, four foot tall electric poultry netting. It's 164 feet. We got two rolls of it. So the area that we're gonna keep them fenced in is gonna be 100 long and 64 wide. So Gavin's going up to get the tape measure so we can get close measurement. Um, and hopefully this works. What's your thoughts? Hmm. Hmm. What's your thoughts about the fencing? Is this fencing fun to put up? <laughs> Not really. Do you remember the white fencing we had? It's the same thing. Oh no, it's the same. It's not fun. What did you say about the fencing? Nothing. <laughs>
<laughs> They're like, no! Go! Go! Here, just come back home. My happy. My happy. Come on. My happy. Help you. Oh, the stuff. Oh, dang, you got my pain. Hey, move that, pick some of that pain, Sam, by the way. Yeah, don't ever, don't touch this because this one will oh, shock the crap out of you. I think it's electric now. The reason I know it will shock the crap out of you is because when we very first bought it mm -hmm. and I was hooking it up, I was putting the wires on, the negative was already hooked up, I was putting the positive on, and your mom's standing behind me thinking she was going to help me out and <laughs> plugs it into the, plugs it into the extension cord and dropped me like a rock. Yeah, I was right behind her when Whoops. that happened. I was holding on directly to the machine that <laughs> creates the spark. Yeah, it was. I was nauseous the rest of the day. <laughs> All right, I think that's it for this video. We're gonna call it a night. Supper's ready. That was a pretty big web project. Yeah, it was. But meat birds are on pasture. All the animals are a little disturbed, or not disturbed, but like overwhelmed yeah all the animals are a little bit overwhelmed we've kind of switched up things and blocked off areas uh, the sheep don't quite know what's going on our other ranged egg layers are very curious um, and of course these little guys yeah this is their first first bit on grass and being out in the sunshine really so I think they're happy yeah I'm glad it's Part of the project's done. All right, Let's on go. to the next one. No. <laughs> Let's go eat. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Remember to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and like and share our videos. Pretty bad. I think the meat birds are uh, happy in their new little home here. Yeah, definitely. We're going to have fun taking care of them in the next couple months. Yeah. So, all right. That's what it's all about, guys. Raise your own food. Get closer to your food. Know where your food comes from. And if you can, raise it yourself. That's the best way. Yep. All right. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs>